Now, Korea's disgraced former president, Park Geun-hye, is in court today for the second hearing of her trial on a wide range of corruption and abuse of power charges. Unlike her first hearing on Tuesday, though, where Park was in the same room as her alleged accomplice, Choi soon she Park today is alone. But their two cases will be merged from next week. The judges agreeing that their cases largely overlap. Now, for the latest, we connect to our E. Ji-won, who's standing by at the Seoul Central District Court. Ji-won? Devin, the hearing went into lunch break a little past noon, and it just resumed. It's been more than four hours since the second hearing started, but uh, it, since it started, but it looks like it's still going to take a few more hours. While the first hearing took about three hours, this one seems to be taking longer due to the vast amount of evidence the judges, for the judges to question former President Park about. The evidence submitted by prosecutors concerns Park's longtime friend Choi soon shils alleged abuse of power, where Choi is said to have used her connections to force conglomerates to financially support two shady organizations, the Mir and K-Sports Foundations, allegedly used by Che to funnel money. Park is named as an accomplice in the charges against Che, along with An jong a former senior presidential secretary in the Park administration. The court is also set to question Park on evidence that one of her closest advisors, Jung ho sung leaked government secrets to Che, who held no official government position. Okay, Ji Won, tell us more about the charges. We know that Park denied all of them in her first hearing earlier this week. That includes the alleged bribery, the abuse of power, etc. Yes, former President Park faces a total of 18 charges, including receiving or demanding around 53 million U.S. dollars in bribes from conglomerates, including Samsung and Lotte. But at the first hearing on Tuesday, Park denied all the charges. But it won't be an easy fight for her legal team. Uh, it won't be an easy fight for her legal team, as especially with other defendants saying she was personally involved. An jong Bam and the conglomerate heads, including Samsung's de facto leader Lee Jae-yong, have already tested testified that Park personally ordered one-on-one -on -one meetings with conglomerate leaders and pushed the establishment of two shady organizations. That's all from me. Back to you, Devin.